Good morning and welcome again. I'm reading uh, from the book of Ruth, chapter 2, 3, and 4. As you, some of you might know, uh, Ruth has only four chapters. The first chapter introduction I did yesterday. So today I'll be reading the remaining chapters. Ruth, as you know, is the, was the daughter-in-law of Naomi. And uh, her husband had passed away and she decided to follow Naomi back to Bethlehem. And uh, this is a story of uh, love between uh, the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law who chooses to uh, be with her after uh, the passing away of her husband and uh, the blessings that follow and how she falls into the genealogy of uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, chapter 2 And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband, a mighty man of wealth of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabitess said unto Naomi, Let me go now to the field and glean the ears of corn after him, in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went and she came and gleaned the field after her reapers, and her half was to light on, a part of the field belonging, belonging unto Boaz, uh, who was of the kindred of Elumelech. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto the servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is that Moabitess um, damsel that came back with Naomi out to the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheep. So she came and has continued even from the morning until now. And she tarried a little in the house. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, Hearest thou not, my daughter? Go not to glean in another field, neither go from thence, but abide here fast by my maidens. Let thine eyes be on the field that do, do not reap, and go thou after them. Have I not charged thee, young men, that they shall not touch thee? And when thou art athirst, go unto the vessels, drink of that which the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground, and said unto him, why have I found grace in thine eyes, that thou shouldst take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger? And Boaz answered and said unto her, It has been fully showed unto me all that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thy husband, and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother, and the, the land of thy nativity, and had come unto a people which thou knewest not hitherto. The Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given unto thee of the Lord God of Israel, unto whose wings thou art come to trust. Then said the Lord, Let me find favour in thy sight, my Lord, for thou hast comforted me, and for thou hast spoken friendly unto thine handmaid, though I be not unlike unto one of thine handmaidens. And Boaz well said unto her, At mealtime come thou hither, and eat of the bread, and dipped her morsel in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers, and reached her parched corn, and did eat, and was sufficed, and was and left. And when she was give, given up to glean, Boash commanded his young man, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach, reproach her not. And let her for let also fall some of the handfuls of purpose for her, and leave them that she may glean them. And rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field until even, and better that she glean, and it was about an ephah of barley. And she took it up and went to the city, and her mother in law saw that she had gleaned and brought food, and gave to her that she had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother in law said unto her, Where hast thou gleaned today, and where broughtest thou? Blessed be he that did not did acknowledge thee. And she showed her mother in law who with whom she had wrought and said, The man's name with whom I wrought today is Boaz. And Naomi said unto her daughter-in-law, Blessed he be he of the Lord who has not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. And Naomi said unto her, The man is near of kin unto us, one of our kinsmen. And Ruth said to Moab, said, He said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men, until thou have ended all my harvest. And Naomi said unto Ruth, 
my daughter-in-law. It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his maidens, and that they meet thee not in any other field. So she kept fast by her the maidens of Boaz, to glean unto the end of the barley harvest and to the wheat harvest, and dwelt with her mother-in-law. Chapter 3. Then Naomi, the mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee, that it may be well unto thee? And now is not bears half a kindred, with whose maiden thou was. Behold, he winnoweth barley tonight in the threshing floor. Wash thyself, therefore anoint thee, put thy raiment upon thee, get thee down to the floor. Make that not thyself known unto the man, until he shall have done eating and drinking. And it shall be when he lieth down, that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie. And thou shalt go in, uncover his feet, and lay thee down. And he will tell thee what thou shalt do. And she shall, she said unto her, All that thou sayest unto me, I will do. And she went down unto the floor, and did according to all that her mother-in-law bade her. And Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was merry. He went to lie down at the end of the heap of the corn, and she came softly, uncovered his feet, and laid her down. It came to pass at midnight. The man was afraid, and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth thine handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thy handmaid, for thou art my near kinsman. And he said, Blessed be thou of the Lord thy my daughter, for thou hast showed more kindness in the latter end than the beginning. Inasmuch as thou followest not young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do unto thee all that thou requirest. For all the city of my people did know that thou art a virtuous woman. And now it is true that I am thy near kinsman. Howbeit there is a kinsman nearer than I. Tarry this night, and it shall be in the morning that he will perform unto thee the part of kinsman. Well, let him do the kinsman part. But he will not do the part of the kinsman to thee. This then will I do the part of kinsman to thee as the Lord liveth. Lie down until the morning. And she lay at the feet until the morning. And she rose up before one could know another. And he said, Let it not be known that a woman came into the floor. And also he said, Bring the veil that thou hast upon thee and hold it. And when she had held it, he measured six measures of barley and laid it on her, and she went into the city. And when she came to her mother-in-law, and said, Who art thou, my daughter? And she said to her, All that the man had done to her. And she said, These six measures of barley gave he me. For he said, Go not empty unto thy mother-in-law. Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until thou knowest how the matter may fall. For the matter will not be in rest until he has finished the thing this day. Then Boaz went up to the gate, sat him down there, and behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz came, speak, came by. Sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. He took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsman, Naomi, that is come out again from the country of Moab, selleth a parcel of land, which our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants and before the elders of my people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is none to redeem it beside thee, for I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day thou buyest the field of Naomi, thou must buy also Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead from his inheritance. And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar mine own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the manner in former time in Israel, concerning redeeming and concerning changing. For to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoes, gave it to his neighbor. And this was the testimony in Israel. Therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, Buy it for thee. And so he drew off his shoe. And Boaz said unto the elders, and unto all the people, Ye are witnesses this day that I have brought, bought all that was Elimelech's and all that was Kilon's and Melon's of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of Melon, I have purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead 
upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead shall not be cut off from among his brethren, and from the day gate of his place. Ye are witnesses this day, and all the people that were in the gate, and the elders said, Ye are witnesses, the Lord make your, the woman that is come into thine house like Rachel and like Rhea, Leah, and which too did build the house of Israel, and do thou worthily in Ephrathah, and be famous in Bethlehem. And let the house be like the house of Pharis, whom Tamar bare unto Judah, and of the seed which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And he went into her, and the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which has not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name be famous in Israel, and he shall be unto thee a restorer of his life, of thy life, a nourisher of thine old age. For, for thy daughter in law, which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons, has born. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became a nurse to it. And the women, her neighbors, gave it a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. Now these are the generations of Pharis. Pharis begat Hesron, Hesron begat Ram, and Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nashon. And not soon we got Salmon, and Salmon begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David. Thus ends the story of Ruth and Naomi.